Okay, Dave, I'm going to start. Good morning. Please stand as we welcome the class of 2021 to the field, led by Assistant Principals Dave Parada, Marty Malone, Mandy Stefankiewicz, the Board of Education and District Administrators, and joined by faculty members of the Garden City High School. We're going to hear Pop and Circumstance Processional, played by the Garden City High School Band, conducted by Dan Delamonica.
Please remain standing as I introduce Ryan Padala, Student Council President, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now I'd like to introduce the senior chorale led by Steve Mayo to sing the national anthem. Please be seated. Thank you, Mr. Delamonica, for leading our band. Uh, band, you are now dismissed. Thank you for your service this morning. My name is Kevin Steingruben. I'm the principal of Garden City High School. I've been here for two years as principal. Uh, 12 years as assistant principal, and 100 years just this year in finishing 2021. I'd like to point out and introduce behind me on the dais members of the Board of Education and District Administration. Thank you for being here today. I'd also like to thank all the faculty that are here walking with our graduates and working amongst all of you this morning. I'd like to thank you, the parents, for your support this year of your students and us at the school, especially Mrs. Turner, director of the high school PTA. Thank you, Mrs. Turner, who was quite a year. I'd like to thank my three assistant principals, Mandy Stefankevich, Dave Parada, and Marty Malone. Please stand. These have been the most important people in my life for the past 15 months, because every single day we made decisions together that made this a bearable year. I'd like to recognize that Marty Malone is leaving us after this year, after serving us as interim for two years. Thank you, Marty, for your service. At this point, I'd also like to recognize the high school staff members, faculty, teacher members that are retiring. And those four members are Robert D. Fleece, Peggy Galata, Peter Santoro, and joining us today is James Malone. We adapted, we survived, and we thrived. We offered every course and every subject we normally would, including all electives and college-level advanced placement classes. We ran extracurricular activities all year. We ran a full preseason training and conditioning program for all three athletic seasons last fall, with over 800 of our 1,100 students participating. I think it was successful because we had championship teams in every single season. We had concerts this spring. Congratulations. 
We had concerts this spring. We had awards and induction ceremonies. We had an awesome pre-prom and prom on Thursday. And here we are on this glorious day today. It wasn't all perfect, but that's what makes us continuously strive to make decisions to always improve and get better. And from here, you'll be moving on to experience and achieve much more as you start in colleges and universities all around this great nation. Always make good decisions. That's the simple advice I always give to graduates as they're leaving. It's simple, but be thoughtful in everything that you do and everything you decide to do. You will move onward and upward. Thank you. I'd like to now introduce our salutatoria, salutatorian, Jenna Matarazzo. Good morning, class of 2021. I am honored to stand here as your salutatorian. Before I begin, I would like to thank Dr. Sinha and the district administration, Mr. Steingrubner and the high school administration, members of the Board of Education, and all teachers and staff for their endless efforts during this past difficult year. I would also like to thank all of my teachers, my friends, my family, my mom and dad, and my two sisters, Madison and Paige, who are graduating with me today. I wouldn't be up here if it weren't for all of their support. I would also like to take this moment to express our condolences to the Madigan family. Molly and Gail were incredible individuals, and they will live on in all of our hearts. I'm sure many of you have heard the term, the greatest generation. Its members are considered to be so because they developed great resilience in surviving hardship and solving problems as a result of the extreme challenges they faced. The reason I mention this is that I believe without a doubt that we, the class of 2021, are the next greatest generation. When it comes to problems and hardships, everyone here knows that we have experienced many. Time and time again, we lost defining school events and opportunities. With the loss of full in-person learning, our sense of intellectual growth, fulfillment of curiosity, and our enjoyment of interacting with our teachers and peers was gone. College applications and decisions, already stressful in a normal year, were even more chaotic and difficult. Many of us went long periods of time without seeing our friends and loved ones. We have felt frustrated and disheartened that supposedly one of the best times of our lives, and one that we would never experience again, was being ruined. And it is also true that our community in particular has suffered other tremendous losses. With all of these experiences and losses, I know that I and many of us have asked ourselves the question, why? And that is something I don't know the answer to. And, but what I do know is this. When encountering challenge after challenge and loss after loss, we persevered, adapted to our circumstances, came together as a community, and overcame over and over again. Thus, we have developed resilience, versatility, and integrity. When facing the hardships of the pandemic, some of our old worries seem very insignificant, and we recognize what truly matters in life. When witnessing healthcare and frontline workers risk their lives daily, and researchers work feverishly to develop a vaccine, we saw the importance of working hard and sacrificing everything, no matter the cost. When experiencing great loss, we realize life is too short to not follow one's true passions or attempt to try and make a difference. Thus, we have developed new perspectives and the determination to do good and work hard and enact change in our flawed world. And so I ask you, are those not all characteristics of the next greatest generation? We've experienced challenge after challenge, loss after loss, and all of us have become resilient, adaptable, responsible, hardworking, and resolute as a result. Our perspectives have shifted, and we are determined to seize the moment and imbue all that we do with passion and meaning. A revolution in both minds and hearts has occurred, something influential and long-lasting. For we, the class of 2021, the next greatest generation, have endured what no other class has endured, and so we will do what no other class has done. Thank you, and congratulations.
I'd now like to introduce Timothy O'Hanlon, president of the class of 2021, to present the class gift. Good morning, everyone. About a year ago, I started talking about the goal of being here together to mark this special occasion. I know the members of the Board of Education must have gotten pretty sick of hearing me talk about that at the meetings. <laughs> well, here we are, and it truly is a great day. On behalf of the class of 2021, I am here to present our gift to the school, a gift that is presented in memory of our classmate, Molly Madigan. A bench will be placed in the courtyard where students can sit, study, eat lunch, socialize, or just collect their thoughts. After the year we've had, it seems like a more than appropriate gift from our class to the school. I just want to take a moment to say what an honor it has been to represent you, the class of 2021. Let's be honest, none of us ever thought we would face the challenges of this past school year. How many times did you hear someone ask or wonder what something would look like? To tell you the truth, I got sick of hearing that question. Well, let me tell you what I think the Garden City High School class of 2021 looks like. We are a large group, some of us even knowing each other since nursery school. We are artists, musicians, actors, singers, scholars, and athletes. But despite our varied interests and goals, we have had several moments where we came together. It started at the end of our junior year when school was shut down. We had a Zoom meeting. We were apart, but we came together. Many of us gathered to ask to have athletics reinstated and to get back into school full time. And when we succeeded, we shared many common moments right here on this field. We came together for exciting athletic events, which included thrilling victories. We recently watched our parents entertain us here during the traditional skit night. And we came together on this field under the most magnificent pink sunset to remember our classmate Molly on the day she passed away. This class has experienced many ups and downs, accomplishments, disappointments, lots of laughter, and lots of tears, together. And I am so glad that this is what our graduation looks like, here with family and friends, together. Ronald Reagan said, the greatest leader is not necessarily the one who does the greatest things. He is the one who gets the people to do the greatest things. Well, classmates, you've overcome a lot of adversity this year to get a lot of great things done. And if anyone were to ask me what the future looks like for the class of 2021, I would tell them it's going to look great. To everyone who supported the class of 2021 this year, thank you. And to my classmates, I have been humbled and honored to be your president. Thank you and congratulations. Timmy, are you next, uh, free next, uh, next June on a Saturday to give another speech? That's how you give a speech, Tim. Now I'd like to introduce Kyle Stevenson, the winner of the Julia Maloney Scholarship winner, to read his award-winning essay. Good afternoon, my name is Kyle Stevenson and today I will be presenting my essay for the Julia Maloney Scholarship. Before I begin, I would like to take a moment to thank Mr. Blum and the Garden City Scholarship Fund for this incredible honor, honor to speak here today. It is truly a special moment. My essay is titled, Mr. Hakes, a, a teacher who has made a difference in my life. For those of you who don't know, Mr. Hakes is a sixth grade middle, teacher, middle school teacher, cluster 6B, two teachers met. All right, my essay. It all started when I entered sixth grade. 
My friend was having difficulties transitioning to the middle school, and their math teacher, Mr. Hakes, offered my friend and I to work together at the, stu at the student store, a moment that began an amazing three-year student-teacher relationship. That moment when Mr. Hakes offered my friend and I positions at the student store turned out to be much more significant than its initial purpose of adapting my friend to middle school. Behind the counter, we sold pens, pencils, and other school supplies that students would need for their classes. Every week from Tuesday to Friday, Mr. Hakes would give me the keys to the store to open up the shop and run the business. I grew to the position of treasurer of the store, signing off on various finances and investments of the shop. As a sixth grader, it was awesome to learn how to use a cash register, communicate with customers, and overall run a successful business. However, my relationship with Mr. Hakes extended far beyond that of the student store. In sixth grade, I would always look forward to having math second period, as it was by far the most fun and interesting part of my day. After getting to know my math teacher a bit, I would go in early each morning to talk with him before going to open up the store. In that year, I learned a lot, of a lot from my math teacher, not only mathematics, but more importantly, developed responsibilities that I had yet to have in my life. Little did I know that my relationship would grow even more the next year. At the start of seventh grade, as I was returning for year two of work at the student store, my concern shifted to at-home matters as my father's colon cancer was spreading rapidly. Being at home at times was difficult for me as it pained, to see my pained me to see my father suffer and one escape I could always rely on was talking to Mr. Hakes. He was aware of my situation and was a key factor in helping to distract me from what was going on in my personal life. As it would turn out, in April of 2016, my father lost his battle and Mr. Hakes was there for me throughout such awful times. From going to my dad's wake to overall being a reliable crutch for me to lean on, Mr. Hakes felt less like a teacher to me and more like a friend. From being someone I could confide in to being an incredible mentor who I credit with motivating me to succeed, my relationship with Mr. Hakes was one that was extremely special and very rare, as it is not often to, that a student and teacher bond like we did. An incredible influence on me, Mr. Hakes was a teacher who had a profound impact on my life. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce Dr. Kasum Sinhar, our Superintendent of Schools. Thank you, Mr. Steingrubner. Welcome, members of the Board of Education, parents, families, staff, guests, and most important, members of the Class of 2021. Thank you to our custodial staff and ground staff, along with our high school administration and staff, for making this a wonderful day. It's hard to believe we're here at graduation and we're all together on this beautiful, beautiful field. Much different than last year, and uh, this was something that we were so looking forward to spending this graduation together. So today, you will be walking across the field to accept your diplomas with the knowledge that you met times of great uncertainty with steadfast resilience. During a global pandemic, you met challenges with fortitude and determination. Well done. Much of your junior and senior years were not quite what you envisioned. You watched events unfold around the world in an unparalleled time continually adjusting to a new normal. You were further tested this year, last month, when our community experienced a terrible tragedy. I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge that there's one student who will not be walking across the field today. We all grieve the loss of your beloved classmate, Molly Madigan, and dearly loved members of our community, parents, Gail and Joe Madigan, we will always remember Molly's effervescent personality, her beautiful smile, and her beautiful voice, and her mom and dad's contribution to our schools. <laughs> Ladies and 
Life does not always go the way that we expect it to. The past 15 months actually parallel the rhythm of life. You have been on a journey and have navigated the ups and downs of life together. You have adapted to working remotely every day, then every other day, and most of you came back a few months ago. So the last 15 months produced difficult times, but also silver linings. You gained wisdom, flexibility, patient, you prevailed. So if I can provide you with in any insight, it would be the following. One, continue to use that fortitude and determination as you face new challenges. We learn who we are as we overcome the challenges that life has in store for us. Two, learn from your mistakes. In life, there will be times where you will make mistakes. That's okay. We are all human, and perfection is not the goal. Anytime you fail, it's an opportunity to learn and grow. Making the mistake isn't important, but how we learn from it and react to it is. Stand tall knowing you will handle things differently as you move forward. Be kind and empathetic. There is no such thing as a small act of kindness. Every act has a ripple effect well beyond your kindness at that moment. You never know what is happening in someone else's life. Have an open heart that will allow you to have an open mind. Live with humility. Be kind and good to people you meet. If you act with humility, means you will be guided by your heart, not by material gains or prestige. Finally, and above all, believe in yourself. You may find that words of validation from others are rewarding, but ultimately, you need to believe in who you are and what you stand for. When you believe in yourself, others will too. We have lived through difficult times. I also have seen your class and our community come together for one another. Your shared experiences, especially of this year, will keep you connected no matter where you go. Today's your day. We celebrate this class and what each of you have achieved. Think big, dream big, and remain optimistic in whatever you do. Go out there and start writing the next chapters of your lives. We can't wait to read them. And finally, I have learned a great deal from you, and I am incredibly proud of you. On behalf of the Board of Education, administration, faculty, staff, and our families, congratulations, class of 2021. I'd now like to introduce our valedictorian, Ian Bailey. Before I begin, I would like to thank Dr. Sinha and our central administration, Mr. Steingrubner and our high school administration, our board of education, our teachers, our staff, our parents, and our families, especially my own. It is an incredible honor to have the opportunity to speak before you today, one that I don't take lightly. In fact, when I was named valedictorian, I promised myself I would approach this speech with the same work ethic that earned me this title. So, late last night, I finally finished. <laughs> I can see the fear in Principal Steingrubner's face already. For clarification, while I only finished it last night, I did begin this speech months ago. I just kept changing it. So, finally, I decided my speech would be about change itself. When we arrived at high school four incredibly long and incredibly short years ago, we knew our time here would be defined by change and growth. We knew we would gain friends, memories, knowledge, and maturity. And we did. 
While change is ours to create, it is also out of our control. As we changed, so too did our world. And for all that we have gained from change, change has also marked our time here by loss. The loss of days in school, the loss of events, the loss of memories we'd hoped to make, and the loss of opportunities to make them, the loss of things too personal for the world to know, and most tragically, the loss of a friend. All this loss has been painful. But from what we've lost, from all our vast, incalculable loss, I think we've gained something as well. We found strength in our community, and we found strength within ourselves. We found the courage to consider change, to adapt in the face of challenges, and to stay true to what matters to us. For even as our world changed, we still found ways to play, to perform, to create, and to give. Our dreams, or at least mine, are about maintaining all that is good and changing all that isn't. We think with enough change, we can eventually make our lives and our world perfect. Reality can be different. Change is messy. Change is incremental. So as we try to change ourselves and our world, never let the perfect be the enemy of the good. We will fail, so make failure a friend, just not a good one. For me, it's liberating to know we won't always achieve our ideals of perfection. You don't have to beat yourself up when you're not perfect, when your work is not perfect, when your world is not perfect. You don't have to make things perfect, just better one small step at a time. As you leave this bubble and go out into the world, remember to consider change. The path you've chosen, the one you're currently on, does not have to define your life. Your dreams of today do not have to be your dreams of tomorrow. What matters is that you continue to dream. You continue to act on those dreams, and you continue to make yourself and your world better. As Gabriel Garcia Marquez said, it is not true that people stop pursuing dreams because they grow old. They grow old because they stop pursuing dreams. Roll Trojans. Now I'd like to introduce Ms. Amy Regis, Garden City High School English teacher, as our keynote speaker. Good morning, members of the school board and of the administration, colleagues guests, and the class of 2021. I am delighted to speak to you today. And you must feel joy, confidence, pride, as you celebrate your many accomplishments. But in the months leading up to today, there must have been moments when you were plagued by concerns. Filling out the Common App, you wondered, am I good enough? Well, you might like to think that you abandoned this nagging anxiety in your middle school days of braces and rainbow loom bracelets. In fact, it has haunted all of you at some moment in your high school days. Of course, social media has only intensified what might become paralyzing self-doubt. You have scrolled through perfectly posed posts and asked, do I measure up? To some degree, this doubt might motivate your efforts, but all too often, 
it leaves you questioning, what are my strengths? Where am I going with my life? In his poem, Digging, Nobel Poet Laureate Seamus Heaney considers these questions. You'll have to indulge me as I sneak in one more piece of literature before you leave high school. When you listen to the Irish poet's words, picture a writer. Sitting at his desk, he looks out his window. He sees his father working in the garden with a shovel, or as he calls it, a spade praising the assiduous nature of both his father and his grandfather, he wonders how he might measure up. Digging. Between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests snug as a gun. Under my window, a clean rasping sound when the spade sinks into gravelly ground. My father Digging, I look down till his straining rump among the flower beds bends low, comes up 20 years away, stooping in rhythm through potato drills where he was digging. The coarse boot nestled on the lug, the shaft against the inside knee was levered firmly. He rooted out tall tops buried the bright edge deep to scatter new potatoes that we picked, loving their cool hardness in our hands. By God, the old man could handle a spade, just like his old man. My grandfather cut more turf in a day than any other man on Toner's Bog. Once I carried him milk in a bottle corked sloppily with paper. He straightened up to drink it, then fell to right away, nicking and slicing neatly, heaving sods over his shoulder, going down and down for the good turf, digging. The cold smell of potato mold, the squelch and slap of soggy peat, the curt cuts of an edge through living roots awaken in my head. But I've no spade to follow men like them. Between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests. I'll dig with it. Heaney's speaker ultimately determines that his pen will be his spade. But how will we discover our spades? Those tools we will sharpen to make our way in the world, to leave our mark, to carve out a meaningful existence. To discover our strengths, we might look to the past, not for mere comparison, but rather for inspiration, especially to those who have paved a path for us. Let's look to our families, Let's look to our ancestors, to those who dreamt of better lives, to those who worked their fingers to the bone and made sacrifices so we wouldn't have to. To understand who we are, we imagine who we would like to be. We recognize those who have touched our lives and hope that we might be handprints on others' hearts. We remember our lovely Molly, her radiant smile, her golden voice, and most importantly, her generous love. In this past year, our self-doubt was surely intensified by the realities of the COVID-19 pandemic. We wondered if we were falling behind as voices around us seemed to suggest. Let me assure you, you did not fall behind. I don't think a graduating class 
has been better equipped for its future. You are constantly reminded of the need for flexibility. And I think by this point, you're almost contortionists. Ever hopeful, you placed one foot in front of the other, navigating through maroon and gray days. You developed patience and stamina and resilience. Witnessing unbearable loss, you grieved and became sensitive to the fragility of human life. Assured by the embraces of those who care for you, you developed heartfelt appreciation. Some of you have discovered your spades and have set a course for the future. But if you haven't made this discovery yet, you surely will in the next few years. On your journey, Surround yourself with individuals who support you intellectually and emotionally, who help you most to grow. Gravitate to those who demand authenticity and integrity. Move forward with optimism and determination and resolve. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Okay, we've come to the point where we are going to award the diplomas. So I welcome up to the stage Timothy O'Hanlon, President of the Class of 2021, Nick Regis, Vice President of the Class of 2021, to read the names of each of the graduates and the Board of Education, Mr. Holub, Mr. Pinot, Ms. Granville, Mr. Cassara, and Mr. Wakeham, who will award the diplomas. And this is that's yours. So that's why that's yours. I'm all good. Practice. Yeah. Practice what I need. Got a second row. Nice see. Jenna Marie Matarazzo. Ian Carlson Bailey. Kathleen Mary Adams. Ryan Jameson Padella. Sarah Teresa Aquino. Kyle Robert Stevenson. Francesca Ciccone. Enzo Gianfranco Cupani. Jacqueline Dieso. Aiden Beal. Sydney Elizabeth. Excuse me. Sydney Elizabeth Earhart. Ryan James Murphy. Emma Gardner. Eric T. 
Tiedemann. Catherine Grace Kopchak. Robert Patrick Francis Trainer. Rebecca Aroxy Melconian. Pierce William Archer. Gianna Sophia G. Palmieri. Matthew Joseph Ardito. Paige Victoria Sinosian. Nathan Al. Julia Marie Sharp. Michael Jeffrey Bomel. Olympia B. Van Blenis. Mark Cameron Beckman. Sarah Varghese. Luca Bevel. Brianna Walsh. William Willis Blair. Sarah Grace Featherston. Christopher Robert Reeman Blum. Brooke Victoria Welsh. Christopher Boyle. Mia Bruza. Micah Daniel Buzkurdian. Callie Alden. Ryan Bradley. Jillian Leah Aprigliano. Brendan O'Brien Burke. Madeline Aries. Andrew Thomas Burns. Grace Elizabeth Asher. Michael R.S. Bush. Caitlin Ann Avitabo. Aiden John Byrne. Kendall Louise Balky. John Caputo. Catherine Mary Burkery. Kyle Patrick Carney. Emily Elizabeth Bermel. Christopher James Cassano. Emma Jane Sullivan. Peter James Casey. Shannon Elizabeth Beal. Stavros George Sherpellis. Catherine Victoria Biley. Maxwell Cadignato. Sophia Isabella Baccio. Matthew Ryan Colucci. Chiara Andrea Bagnano. John Richard Conklin. Megan Bornique. 
Ryan James Connolly. To me, Skyler Bransfield. Thomas Joseph Conway. Kaylee Marie Bremer. James Edward Costello the third. Aaron Brennan. Christopher Joseph Coyle. Kelly Brennan. Ryan Michael Cunningham. Kelly Marie Brennan. Christopher M. Delacruz. Colleen Faye Busolato. Michael Joseph DeLuca. Christina Angela Calori. Kurt Michael Dengler. Sophia C. Campbell. Ethan D. De Palma. Jessica Denise Serrato. Daniel Aaron De Giacomo. And Tang Chen. Steven Raymond De Giacomo. Carly Cotignato. Jack Finn Dowd. Madison Lynn Cooper. Jack Joseph Downey. Catherine Caroline Caloris. Thomas K. Engelke. Sharon Christine Cunningham. Connor Thomas Eshman. Mia Catherine Curtin. Ryan Farrell. Nicole D'Amelio. Simon James Ferris. Olu Dami Lola Moyo Sore Olua Dawadu. Joseph Frandina. Karen Ann DeBaney. Thomas Richard Franz. Sarah Grace DeSico. Aiden Finbar Gaffney. Riley Ann DiGiaro. Patrick Daniel Gavin. Sienna Jensen Della Carpini. Terrence Timothy Going. Nicole Madison Denaro. Jack Andrew Green. Christina M. Diagostino. Yeah. 
John Michael Green. Sabrina C. Diaz. Daniel Ryan Greg. Julia Stephanie DiCaprio. Michael G. Haas. Mary Beth Francis Deegan. Adamantios Hajipateras. Francesca Marie De Stefano. Brendan Hegarty. Alexa Simone Delmayan. Christopher Robert Heckelman. Eliz Elizabeth M. Dowden. David F. Hegarty. Brooke Edwards. Daniel Hernandez Arroyo. Caroline Grace Egan. Matthew Hughes. Victoria Rose Ernst. Alexander Thomas Imperial. Olivia Escoffery. Joseph Michael Infante. Annalise Etienne. Charles Daniel Ivino. Kimberly Farkas. Matthew Duff Jordan. Ella Felici. Andrew Brady Joseph. Haley Elizabeth Fitzsimons. Matthew Ralph Joseph. Julia Ford. Zachary Charles Carroll. Nancy Catherine Gannon. Hugh Christopher Keenan. Lisa Garizio. Dylan Lalazar. Daria Nalita Gemmel. Michael Theodore Langley. Emma Catherine Gillen. Nathaniel Lau. Olivia Gottlieb. Luke Patrick Long. Catherine Ann Graney. Sean Henry Moss. Margot Catherine Griffin. Aiden Joseph Magnata. Lizanne Griffith. Robin Basdeo Mahabir. Kaylin Haggerty. Yeah. 
Ronald J. Marciano III. Kristen Hart. Justin Andrew Martin. Karina Nicole Hankey. Thomas James McCauley. Ava Catherine Herrera. Owen Gerard McCormick. Alexandra Hessler. Aiden McDonough. Alexandra Hopkins. Brendan Ryan McGovern. Sabria Islam. Matthew McLeod. Ellie Jewell. Alexander Xavier Mejia. Rachel Jaffe. Colin Gregory Mink. Farah Kabir. Lewis Griffin Menudo. Karina Catriar. Matthew Moen. Olivia Cavill. Grant Reed Malloy. Emily Grace Carimian. Logan Christopher Morrison. Marjorie Mary Kern. Keelan John Mullaley. Sarah Hill Commons. Christopher Peter Murphy. Julianne Michelle King. Samuel Benjamin Myers IV. Maeve Elizabeth Kinney. Alexander Newadel. Mia Ann Kazalka. William Nugent. Lauren Elizabeth Kuzma. Gerard Ross O'Connor. Ella Ann Labate. Stephen Thomas Pagonis. Sarah Elizabeth Lane. Ian Patrick Paisley. Kayla Nicole LaRocca. Jamshed B. Pataki. Ashley Elizabeth Larson. Frank John Patano. Madeline Hope Lawler. Francesco Anthony Patrici. Brianna N. Lorita. 
Joseph Daniel Padone. Catherine Grace Liu. Cole Plasteris. Leia Ladato. Jacob Matthew Powers. Julia Ann Lamonto. Nicholas William Prime. Christina Elizabeth Mackey. Drew James Quinn. Kelsey Rose Manning. Owen Paul Quinn. Giovanna Mary Massia. Michael C. Reinhardt. Madison Marie Matarazzo. Anthony Rimmick. Paige Marie Matarazzo. Andrew Charles Reisman. Alina Grace McCadden. Matthew Philip Romeo. <laughs> Julia Catherine McCarthy. Liam Gregory Rooney. Lauren McDonald. Aiden Wayne Rosenblatt. Sophia McLaughlin. Nicholas Ravelli. Maggie Eileen McLeod. Nathaniel Rust. Grace McVeigh. Jeffy Jeswin Samuel. Nicole Karina Mejia. Peter Gabriel Sansky Traficanti. Lily Mylone. Frank A. Santorama. Amanda Montabo. Miguel Angel Santos. Mackenzie Ann Malahi. Jack Skelly. Julie Michelle Murphy. Grant Michael Scarangella. Madeline O'Connor.
John Arthur Scarlatta. Gianna Maria O'Neill. William John Sheik. Catherine Lee Ober. Andrew William Schneider. Haley Schramm Olszewski. Robert Dugan Seal. <laughs> Olivia Ottomanelli. <laughs> Daniel N. Sikas. <laughs> Natalie Palmieri. Stephen Gregory Sarunian. Sydney Brooke Pappas. Jack Christopher Stallone. Gabriella Marie Parente. Anthony Michael Swow. Fiona Eileen Pfaff. James C. Sweeney IV. Athena Jean Philippides. Gabriel Tomasic. <laughs> Hannah Allison Pletcher. <laughs> Constantine J. Vasilakis. <laughs> Brianna Powers. <laughs> Colin Walsh. Jessica Lynn Paz. Jake Ryan Watson. Sophia M. Reed. Christopher J. Welbrock. Megan Reno. William Carroll Westfield. Gianna Rita Riggi. James Richard Winter. Samantha Nicole Rojas. Benjamin William Wu. Grace Ann Ryan. Mark Yakubov. Sophia Christine Samardich. Ian William Yasso. Juliana Catherine Santel. Cameron Ewan. Sila Grace Scarangella. 
Victoria Rose Schiraldi. Sarah Joan Schultz. Sophia P. Sassente. Sophia Elise Soberon. Simran Sohal. Lindsay Faith Stevenson. <laughs> Stephanie Hope Stevenson. What? Ellie? Okay. Angelina Ellie Swow. <laughs> Catherine Claire Sullivan. Lauren Grace Sullivan. Deanna Rose Turner. Grace Eleanor Tynan. Molly Grace Van Dyke. Alexandra Maria Vlagenitis. Nefeli Vlagenitis. Audrey Cecilia Volker. Ariana Vranca. Ava Marguerite Whalen. Brooke Marie Williams. Ava Olivia Wuchta. Emily Zupasich. And last but absolutely not least, Nicholas Kiefer Regas. <laughs> Timothy Peter O'Hanlon. Class of 2021, please stand. By the power vested in me by the Board of Education and the State of New York, I hereby confer your diplomas upon you and all the rights and privileges that you have earned with it. Congratulations. You may be seated, thank you. This graduation ceremony is dedicated in loving memory to Molly Madigan, our cherished member of the class of 2021. And we have one more diploma to present this morning and that is to the family of Molly Madigan.
Now I'd like to welcome the senior chorale back up. Directed by Stephen Mayo, they will sing for good. Thank you. 
Thank you, Mr. Mayor, Ms. Hauser, and the Senior Corral. That was beautiful. At this point, we are going to be recessing. That is the conclusion of our ceremony. Graduates, gather your, your items with you. You'll be directed out by Mr. Malone and Mr. Parada to the library to pick up some things. Also, families, don't forget, grab your lawn signs today. And we will recess at this point. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you.